Please pause this video and answer the question before continuing. In this question, we want to determine what percent of the hotel rooms have air conditioning and cable TV. Notice that we have a population of rooms here, and there are two criteria associated with each room. They are having or not having air conditioning, and having or not having cable TV. As such, we can solve this question using the double matrix method. So let's reserve the top row for rooms with cable TV, and the bottom rows for rooms without cable TV. Next, we will reserve the left-hand column for rooms with air conditioning, and reserve the right-hand column for rooms that do not have air conditioning. Now, since we are not told the total number of rooms, and since the question asks us to find a certain percentage, let's say that there are 100 hotel rooms altogether. Now, before we examine the statements, let's see what other information we can add here. Well, the question tells us that 30% of the rooms have air conditioning. So the sum of these two boxes must be 30% of 100, which is 30. Now, since there are 100 rooms altogether, and 30 of them have air conditioning, the remaining 70 rooms must not have air conditioning. So the sum of these two boxes must be 70. Now, our goal here is to determine what percent of the hotel rooms have air conditioning and cable TV. Since this box represents rooms with air conditioning and cable TV, all we need to do now is find the number of rooms that are in this box and we can then answer our target question. So let's place a star in this box to remind us that this is our target box. Now at this point there is one more piece of information we can add and if we do not spot it we cannot answer this question correctly. What can we do with this information that tells us every room in the hotel has air conditioning or cable TV or both? Well, since every room has at least one of these features, this box here, which represents rooms with neither air conditioning nor cable TV, must contain zero rooms. Now from this we can conclude that since these two boxes must add to 70, this box must contain 70 rooms. At this point, we have added all of the possible information, and we can now examine each statement. However, before we do this, let's copy our matrix over here. Okay, let's begin with statement 1. If 80% of the rooms have cable TV, then these two boxes must add to 80. Since one box already has 70 rooms, the other box must have 10 rooms. At this point, we have found the information in the target box, so statement 1 must be sufficient. Now on to statement 2. Here we are told that 70% of the rooms have cable TV but not air conditioning. Well, this box is reserved for rooms with cable TV but not air conditioning, and we already knew that this box contains 70 rooms. So since statement 2 does not provide any new information, it cannot be sufficient, which means the answer here is A.